In Polk County, where two youth ministers and a football coach have been arrested, our John Thomas just got out of a news conference with the sheriff. He joins us now on the phone to bring us details. John, what happened? Well, it's just incredibly disturbing. The, uh, uh, I want to stress that these three cases, according to the sheriff's office, are not related. But two of them have a tragic connection, and the two that I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with the two youth ministers. Uh, they happen to be at the same church, First Assembly of God, and according to the sheriff's office, they victimized the same child. Here are the names of the two guys. Ricardo Navarro, 27 years old. He's charged with lewd and lascivious battery. The victim, 12 to 16 years old. The second guy, Eduardo de Montera, uh, 30 years old. Lewd and lascivious battery. Victim, 12 to 15 years old. Both, according to the sheriff's office, have confessed. Now, the third person, separate case, is the head football coach at George Jenkins High School, Matthew Thompson, 30 years old. Allegedly, according to the sheriff's office, he engaged with sex with a student. He has been charged with sexual battery by a person of custodial authority. According to the sheriff's office, Thompson has not confessed, but they say they have him on tape admitting he did it. They now want to know in all the cases if there are more victims out there. If there are, call the Polk County Sheriff's Office. We will have more on this story, on all three of these stories, on ABC Action News starting at 5 o'clock tonight, as well as on abcactionnews.com. In Polk County, John Thomas, back to you. All right, thank you, John.